Hi everyone, I'm sorry for the delay. Let's talk about idols. If you listen to the song that I put on here before the weekend, you would have realized that it was about idols. There is a general expectation within the community about some things that are about to happen or that are supposed to happen. And I often hear from people commenting on there's a delay, things aren't going as fast as they would like. There's a lot of waiting happening. And um, this waiting, surprisingly, isn't about father delaying something. It is actually father waiting on some things to happen first with his elect. And one of those things are to deal with your idols. Even if you believe you have no idol, please stick around and listen to the video in full because there might be something for you in the video. The first commandment that Jesus gave, and that was one of the Ten Commandments, was about loving your God with all your heart, mind and soul. The thing is, we all know what it feels like to be in love, right? Just remember the first time when you were younger, you met this boy, you met that girl, and the magic happened. All you could think about was them. You either wanted to be with them, or you were thinking about how you were with them, or what you're going to do next time you'll be with them. Your mind was occupied constantly by the one that you loved and this happened to this happens to um mothers as well when they deliver their babies they fall in love and all they can think about for a while is their newborn and that is all perfectly fine but i'm talking about all this because while people say they love Father, if they really did, wouldn't he be at the forefront of their mind pretty much all the time? Wouldn't there be the connection where you talk to him a lot of the time when you're alone? If he's your best friend, that is constantly with you, wouldn't you automatically talk to him? When you're not around other people or when you're not busy with everyday, everyday life things. I'm asking this because, well, the song that I posted, towards the end of it, it says this. We must not worship something that's not even worth it. Clear the stage, make some space for the one who deserves it. Anything I put before my God is an idol. Anything I want with all my heart is an idol. Anything I can't stop thinking of is an idol. Anything that I give all my love to is an idol. See, I didn't know this stuff. Um, years ago, and if I did, 
It would have helped me to identify what I was doing wrong over and over and over. I myself would always create an idol from my partner. I just took it too far. There is nothing wrong with having a companion and loving them. But when you put them first before you, anything, before you, before father, before anything, that person will become your idol. And you can't have two masters. You cannot serve two masters. Either father and your relationship with him is priority or it isn't. And when it isn't, you have an idol. Relationship is built up by two-way communication. So spending even an hour in prayer just talking at Father, asking for things, telling him about your problems, whatever it is, and then just ending the prayer and walking away without him even, even being able to answer you. That is not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about a two-way communication. And if that's not happening, how are you building that relationship? To build a relationship, it takes time, patience. It takes for people to be present with each other. So... Whenever I would fall into the trap of creating an idol out of my partner, I would lose that connection with father. And it was heartbreaking for me because it wouldn't happen all at once. But over time, I would realized that my mind is constantly occupied with the other person. There was no space for communication with father. There was no space for dialogue. I did not have the time or internal space for that. Some people have an idol and that idol is their child. They're making sure that the child have everything and anything, all the care in the world. There is nothing wrong with loving your child. Just remember, your child also have a Heavenly Father. And your job as a mother is also to help them build a relationship with their Heavenly Father. And they can't do that if you're always there doing everything for them. Getting them out of trouble, right? So, different people struggle with different idols. For some, it is fixation on studying. On studying and times, studying what other people are saying on YouTube. If you're spending more time with videos, if you're spending more time studying what others are saying about whatever you're interested in, Instead of spending at least the same amount of time in conversation with your Heavenly Father or more, then you have an idol. You can become an expert in 
following all these channels and understanding exactly where they're at. But what has that to do with your relationship with Father? If you're not building an actual relationship with the invisible spirit that is with you at all times, he's trying to communicate with you at all times, if you're not consciously spending time giving him your um, your mental space, having a conversation with him, and if you'd rather listen to what other people got to say, you've got an idol. And the problem is, Father has a job for each and every one of you. He can't tell you what to do when there's not even a basic communication established. It would be a good idea to observe yourself over the next few days and see how you, during the daytime when you're awake, what what do you do? I mean, we we all got to do some things. We all got to take care of our families. Maybe you you go outside of your house to work. Maybe you work inside the house. Whatever it is, right? But there are periods of time when we don't have to give attention to other people. When we don't have to give attention to the work. Where we are free to choose what we give our attention to. And if your mind doesn't start talking with Father at this time that you're free to do it, find out what it is that your mind is turning to. You will be able to identify whether you have an idol in your life and you'll be able to deal with it better if you realize what it is. When I wake up in the morning, my first thoughts are, Oh, I'm awake. I'm back here. <clears throat> and then very soon after, I greet my father, or I at least acknowledge him. That I know he's here. And that we are together. But it wasn't like that all the time in my life. There were long periods of time when my first thought was on another person. And when I look back at it now. Well, I know better, right? I know how to identify if an idol is being developed in my life. Just to make sure there is nothing wrong with loving people or having hobbies or relaxing with some videos. It only becomes a problem if your main priority isn't your relationship with Father. And the thing is, if that relationship isn't the most important, then your journey, the way you're going in your life, isn't leading to him. It is leading to something <clears throat> that you hold dearer than Father.
Even Jesus may be an idol for some people. Jesus had the Spirit of Father in him. But what they put on that cross was Jesus. It was an interesting moment for me about two years ago. I used to have a, a cross, a wooden cross, little wooden cross, um, hanging on my back mirror in the car. And there were a few beads on the on the chain, and then then the cross was hanging off of it. Just a, just a simple wooden cross. And every time I got into my car, I just touched the cross and start a car. And one day, I touched the cross and it stayed in my in the palm of my hand. The cross detached from the chain. And it was a very strong moment for me. I knew that it was the material that I have given up. But at the same time, I knew that Father was trying to tell me something. I knew he was trying to tell me to stop crucifying Jesus over and over and over. Because... While we aren't aware of it, every time, if you're fixated on the ch on the cross, on the symbol, you do think of death, of Jesus on the cross. And there is no need to keep bringing this up over and over and over again. The focus is on Father. It shouldn't be on how Jesus died. Another idol might be the rapture, the whole idea of going away from here to some faraway place where we are going to be with Father. And while all that is very nice, people keep forgetting that Father is right here, right here, right now. And if they want to be with him, all they got to do is sit down. Maybe have a coffee with him. A real conversation. And when you do that, you know what, what's going to happen? <clears throat> You'll feel fulfilled internally. You won't <clears throat> be chasing every new video that's coming up. I used to be so hungry because I wasn't spending time with Father, that I'd get depressed over the weekends because there wasn't nearly enough videos coming out over the weekend as it was during the weekdays. I didn't used to like weekends because there was nothing to eat. Different people deal with different idols. But the, the beginning of dealing with your idols is simply admitting that you have them. Or have one. And when you deal with your idol and put Father first and start creating and developing and nurturing that relationship, Things will change. Suddenly there won't be a goal you're working towards. There won't be a date you are working towards. Suddenly every day is a goal in itself where you just get a little bit closer to him. And so I'd like to encourage you to identify what is your idol. You can even ask him. Just sit down, make some coffee, and say out of your mouth, Father, 
Please help me identify my idols. And you're gonna start getting all sorts of ideas that you will know what these things are. Observe yourself during the day and watch for where your mind will take you. Just give him the attention and the space and the time that he deserves. He's your daddy.